Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm an addiction specialist, a medical doctor and a life coach and I've put together the series of videos which I hope will make medical concepts a lot easier to understand and stick in your mind for years to come. Today we're talking particularly about cocaine, stimulants in general, but particularly cocaine and crack cocaine which is a much stronger version of, of cocaine. And we're talking about how it will affect your mood and the impact that can have on your mental health. If you imagine this cup filled completely to the top with water, that represents the uh, neurotransmitters, the mood chemicals that are stored in your cells. The most important ones when it comes to cocaine are noradrenaline, serotonin and dopamine. Dopamine is that chemical that gives you a rush, so people who are thrill seekers will often go try and recreate that dopamine rush. Cocaine does a similar thing. So if you imagine a normal healthy person without depression has a full cup of neurotransmitters and every day a little bit trickles out into your bloodstream and that's what looks after your biorhythms, it regulates your sleep, your appetite, uh, your libido and a whole bunch of other functions. But it gets replenished every single day partly because the body makes new chemicals and also partly because some of them are being re reabsorbed. When you use cocaine, the cocaine sends a message to your nervous system to squeeze those reservoirs so that more of those substances, particularly dopamine, end up in your bloodstream and that's what excites your nervous system because it's in your bloodstream your nerves pick it up and that's the effect you get to make you feel really good confident powerful what happens is the cocaine prevents those neurotransmitters from being reabsorbed um, because it blocks the receptors so your body struggles to fill them up so let's look at an example let's say you go out for the first time and you use cocaine it's like giving this a little bit of a squeeze and you only have this much left in your reservoir within a few days your body will reabsorb some and it'll fill up the reservoir and function returns to normal. However, if you use continuously and particularly if you use every day, you'll end up using more than what your body can cope with. After a couple of months, you'll end up with a situation where all you really have is a tiny amount of these neurotransmitters available to go into your bloodstream and recirculate. So it's like filling it up, emptying it out, filling it up, emptying it out. And people will often say, the only way I can feel good is by using a stimulant like crack cocaine or cocaine so that that ends up in my bloodstream and I actually have a little bit of euphoria. The net effect is you're actually buying yourself four to six weeks of depression. So we all know that you can recover from a binge in two days, but effectively the effects on your body last anything up to six weeks. Now, if you're in the situation and you have depression and you're really struggling because of your cocaine use, one thing you can do is go and see your doctor who might prescribe an antidepressant. Now, the antidepressant will speed up the rate at which your body fills this up and it will help the reabsorption of those chemicals, but it can only do it so quickly. So, realistically, the only way to get yourself back to normal health is to stop using cocaine completely. Now we know that cocaine also has quite a lot of effects on your physical health. Very quickly those are heart attacks, strokes and problems with your cardiovascular system in general. But I'll cover that in my next videos. If you like this video, please remember to hit like. And if it resonated with you and you think that it might be able to help someone else, please share. I'd love for you to subscribe and leave your comments below, particularly if you'd like me to talk about something else. Keep well and see you soon.